I am back in Salzburg again, and I love it. It's, it's my favorite city in the whole world. And um, I can't always get here, but if I'm close, then I try to get here. I've never been here in the winter time. I've always been here in the spring or summer or fall. So the winter time is different. I was thinking there might be snow, but not this year. Yesterday, I, I went on the Sound of Music tour for Panorama Tours, and I've only done half the tour before that because we had to work every time I've been here. So I took the entire tour yesterday and got to know a lot of the people on the, on the bus. And they're so lovely and they're so into the movie. Every time we stop, can I have another picture with you? Can I have another picture? I said, sure, you know. I'm thrilled that they want a picture with me at this stage of my life, so. When we were filming the music, the Sound of Music back in 1964, they were our drivers. They drove us everywhere. And then it, it's, it's so very heartwarming to me to see how that company has just blossomed into probably the best thing any city could possibly imagine if they're trying to promote and bring people in. The tour guides are very knowledgeable more knowledgeable than me. I got caught in something with my guide yesterday that he said, no, you're wrong. I said, no, you're wrong. And he showed me a picture. I was wrong. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's, it, it's just something that if pe people come here, they absolutely have to do it. They have to take the Sound of Music tour from Panorama. It's, there's nothing like it. it. It's amazing to me. I had no idea at the time well, I was seven, I didn't have any idea anyway, but I don't think anybody thought that it would be as successful as it has been and that it would have the longevity that it has had. So I, I think it's great. I mean, it's, you know, I, as I say, I, I love that it has lived on. I love the friendships that I have with my castmates and um, that will never go away. They're like my other family. It certainly has opened a lot of doors for me that maybe otherwise wouldn't have happened, so those sort of things would have been different. Um, I'm a, a floral designer, for example, and I don't know if this had anything to do with it, but three years ago I was, um, I was chosen to be one of the floral designers to do the White House for Christmas in Washington, D.C. I think, first of all, because it's a, a real story, Second of all, it's Salzburg. Well, I might even be first of all because it's just, there's no other city like it that I've ever been where there's just so much to offer and it's so beautiful and historic and, and friendly. You know, even, even Julie Andrews, she, she would act like Maria, her character, to us off camera. She would sing to us and, you know, if we were getting rambunctious, she made sure that everybody settle down and she would, she sort of took us under her wing and she was wonderful. Christopher Plummer, he made sure that we stayed on edge. So he was always in character too. As they're looking at the sights and, and the beauty of Salzburg, they need to know that we also have a book that covers all of that. And over the years, uh, we recently redid the book, Angela Cartwright, who played Brigitte and myself. Um, we remastered many of the photos. We have lots of brand new photos in here that have never before been seen by anyone. Um, and we've all updated our stories in here and, and kind of just sort of polished it off. Uh, there were previous versions of this book, but this version is the one that is the best so far. So the autographed book is available at thesalm7.com. It also comes with an autographed photograph from the movie, an 8x10 glossy, autographed either by myself or Angela Cartwright. And it's available also in bookstores. But if you want to get the autographed book personalized uh, by us, plus the photograph that comes with it, and we also wrap it in brown paper and tie it up in string.